tonight. It's Madden NFL Football. It's week 17 of the NFL on EA Sports. see Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals taking on Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. From the banks of the Ohio River, there's a look at what's now known as Paycor Stadium here in Cincinnati. Tonight, we've got one last present under the tree, our final Monday nighter of the year between the Buffalo Bills and the Cincinnati Bengals. Quickly to the air is Burrow. Looking left side and it's complete. There he goes left side. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. A great effort there. 75 yards. And the Bengals put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Wow, first play in the game, CD, 75 yards. These people, they haven't even filed in yet from the tailgate lots. Everyone talks about starting out fast. Everyone talks about getting explosive-type plays. That was... On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. They'll look to set up his blockers. They'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And there, of course, was a lot of talk about this ball game coming into play. Two division leaders in the AFC. Could this be a potential playoff? And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Bengals. A big play there. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Bengals are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Week after week, Charles, when we see this offense operate, I don't know, they just seem to get more impressive. They certainly do, and let's face it, it's no surprise they're the best in the NFL in scoring. This team designs things well and executes even better. And here, it only takes a few snaps before they're in the end. Now the punter, Sam Martin, called on to kick it away here. It's taken to the 26. There he goes, right side. And he will score. Touchdown, Cincinnati. All told, it's a punt return of 74 yards. And the Bengals take a three-touchdown lead. Hey, rookie. That's the way to make an impression. Return one for a touchdown. Yeah, welcome to the party. We saw him fielding those punts before the game, and he just had a little bit of a look in his eye, didn't he? He did. He was a confident young man, and now we know why. Sam Martin now. 
Standing just outside his own goal line. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. Let's take it inside his own 40. A good return in field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. for Nixon last week. There isn't a coach alive who wouldn't like those numbers. Well over 100 yards and a touchdown too. Gardner, I think all the coaches are in that great coaching box in the sky would take those numbers. <laughs> so dead or alive. Either way, they would take they that would kind take of production. It. run got a couple here second and eight now with the play clock about to expire we get a whistle and a timeout they'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter eight yards to go on second down They'll stay on the ground, mix it again. Only a gain of a couple there. That leaves them needing about seven here on third down. And despite injuries like these, Charles, with these guys missing, they've been able to keep that pursuit of perfection alive so far. That just shows the depth that they have on the roster and the guys who are serious about being ready when their number is called. Someone goes down, someone jumps in, and they don't skip a beat. I think this team has a bunch of those guys, and some of them will be called on again this week. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A pretty sizable deficit here in the first quarter. This defense they probably need to get off the field in those situations on third down. And you and I both know in this huddle before that last third down play, that's exactly what they talked about. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Joe Mixon, 24 yards, as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Boy, CD, what a start for them. Still in the first quarter, they're absolutely blitzing them. All the points that they've put up, I'm not sure what you say on the other sideline right now. I think it's as simple as this, partner. The way that they're playing, there's no limits on what this lead could become. He's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. A nice punt, but a good run back as well, 13 yards. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. The Bengals drive about to get going. And Charles, they're really stringing these possessions and scores together early. We're still in the first quarter, but if they can score again here, a look out. Yeah, and as you taught me when we're broadcasting games, one word we're supposed to avoid, and that's blowout. But that's exactly what's going on here. Down three possessions just the first quarter. That goes beyond any worst-case scenario we might have thought coming into this game. And another touchdown here, that should eliminate any hopes for any type of a comeback. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. 
drop to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And unable to connect, incomplete. Uh, give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble. Here's Sam Martin now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. Fielded at the 20. And nine yards there on the return following a punt of 47. And the Bengals take over first and 10. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets them to second and four. So, Charles, you know, for this offense, we've been talking all year about how difficult it would be to run the table. And you gave me your chances early in the year. You thought maybe 25%. A few weeks ago, you thought closer to 50, but not quite 50. Now here they are, 15 and 0. This is happening, is it? And now off to the races, down the right side, and all the way in for a Cincinnati score. A great play there. On his way to a historic performance, four first half touchdowns, and the Bengals are able to add on to their first half lead. So this now 34 to nothing with the extra point pending. And Charles, I thought these guys might have the advantage coming in, but I didn't expect. Here's Sam Martin now, as he'll come on to kick for a six time tonight. Fielded just inside the 20. on the return it springs him for 25 and out will come the offense as they take over the Bengals drive about to get going the football changing hands here and as this offense takes a field Charles they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive last time out they found the end zone for six and they're certainly hoping for more of the same but the game plan I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook they want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. 52 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Again, it's Mixon. And he'll take this forward for about five as we have come upon the two-minute warning. A reminder that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll check in with Jonathan Coachman from Orlando. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of play. And now they will throw it with Burrow. Over the middle, he finds Higgins. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. Well, following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. Well, always unfortunate to see an injury, especially this close to the end of the regular season. We'll step aside. Second and one from the two. 
They go back to the ground now with Mixon. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bengals. Joe Mixon with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bengals have taken a six-touchdown lead. Just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to put... Here's Sam Martin now as he's on to punt for Buffalo. This is fielded at the 27. Call that a 44-yard punt, five on the return. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And with a huge lead already, they may be thinking, hey, our job's complete for these first two quarters. Let's get this to the locker room. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A good pickup there, 22. So we've come upon halftime here in week 17. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll get started over at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in downtown Atlanta, where it was definitely a game with some entry, as you can see by the scoreline. Desmond Ritter, four touchdown passes in the victory. From there, let's head west to see what's going on with the Raiders at home in Las Vegas. And it was the visiting San Francisco 49ers that come in and get the victory. Christian McCaffrey, a touchdown run in the victory. Finally, let's get to the country music capital of the world. See what's happening with the Titans at home in Nashville. And they were losers in their ball game to the visiting Dallas Cowboys. T.Y. Hilton, well over 100 yards with two touchdown catches to boot. Meanwhile, our game has been a boat race. Very one-sided to this point. And for the call of the second half, let's get it back to our commentating team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. They will throw on first down with Burrow. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. A gain of 32 that time. Already over 1,000 yards receiving this season. That catch is just going to add to his total. Certainly not resting on his laurels. He's trying to continue to gain as many yards as possible and continue this big season. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Looking to throw. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. He took a shot there, but boy, was that ill-advised from my viewpoint. Coverage was awfully tight. How did he get away? But that would not be picked off. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. He's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. Jamar Chase, his 11th touchdown of the year, and the Bengals are pouring it on. And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. So they call it a 
a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. The drive will commence with a run by Mixon. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Again, it's Mixon. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Second and one, if people want to run the football, this is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. And he'll take this ahead for about four, second down coming up. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Second down at six now from the 42. They try to eat some clock with Mixon. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. 86 yards on the ground for him now as he's gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Another fine carry from the NFL's rushing leader. And quarterbacks typically dominating the MVP balloting, but I think you got to give this guy serious consideration, don't you? I agree totally. I mean, he's leading the league in rushing. And let's face it, partner, the running back renaissance in the NFL, it's real. And it's really helping teams along the way. He's a prime example. Got to give him strong consideration for MVP, Tom. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. It'll go as a gain of four, and that will bring up second down. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him, and, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on him man-to-man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different... And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. Well, business as usual for them, well on their way to another victory. Riding a serious wave of momentum from what we've seen. And so far, they haven't met their match. So if you're going to play this team in the future, your mission is clear. You better be ready to play and match their firepower. Sam Martin now as he's on to punt for Buffalo. Pulled in at the 24. Oh, nice move. <laughs> and he's loose again. And they are going to finish this one off strong. It's a return touchdown to add on to their lead in the final stages. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. That's caught over the middle by Hurst. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A well-executed 22-yard gain. 
Well, fans expect these primetime slots to deliver some of the best games each week. And, well, one team has certainly followed through with that tonight. Just an absolute clinic, Charles, on offense here. And they don't seem to be done trying to drive that football. Yeah, and continue your theme about one team enjoying it. One fan base is enjoying it as well. The other fan base, they might disagree with what they've seen. But the one that's winning, they're certainly getting their money's worth. Well, trailing here in the fourth quarter, and that personal foul, that only adds to the hole that they're currently standing in. Yeah, absolutely a bad job of just losing your cool and letting your anger take over. Mistakes like that, not going to help you at this stage of the game. And he's going to battle his way down right around the two-yard line. A good run, eight yards there, and it'll be second and goal. Another try for Mixon. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. So this one in the win column now for the Cincinnati Bengals. And it was a game where they were off and running in the first quarter, Charles, and never looked back. You know, partner, after a while, we always say the same thing, don't we? They set the tone early, right? They started fast. So I asked a few of my horse racing friends, do you have a term for me that we can use to cover that? And they said, yeah. When a horse breaks out like that, you say he caught a flyer out of the gate. And that's exactly what this team did today. I mean, they jumped out there, jumped on them, and were never headed. So for the Bengals, they're a win away now from running the table here in the regular season. They moved to 16-0 on the year. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.